Right, so looking at GJ, um, we're currently looking at the daily time frame here. Now, obviously, you would have seen through Friday last week, we had some nice bearish, um, intraday bearish momentum. We had that nice bearish push. But now looking at the looking at the daily time frame quickly, you need to notice. So the first thing we notice here on the daily time frame, all right, is we still have that bullish momentum, higher time frame bullish momentum on the daily time frame. Okay. Higher time frame of daily structure has not yet been broken to give us that higher time frame shift. Okay. So that's the first thing. Second thing we need to notice here is the current daily candle doesn't have a top wick. Okay. It doesn't have a top wick. On the open of this candle, we've pushed down. Okay. Into this region here. So that's the second thing that you need to notice. The third thing is price is pushed into a critical support on the daily time frame. All right. You can see that this is a significant level, all right? Prices rejected that region over there. We've once again rejected, broke, retest, and continued. Okay, so these wicks here. And now price has obviously, well, there was the retest, and price is now pushed into this region. So you can see that that is a critical support, all right? Not to mention 150.5 being a big psychological level, okay? So... What I'm getting at is we are still bullish here. Although we had that intraday bearish momentum on the day uh, on Friday, okay, we're still bullish. So with that being said, we could see higher time frame continuation. All right, looking at this daily candle with no top side to it. So if we move to the four hourly, you'll have a look at structure over here quickly, okay, and you'll see that if you look left, that support zone becomes clearer. Okay, you can see that this is our critical support region. All right, pretty simple, straightforward. We've had a nice strong push into that region. Now looking at the four hourly, okay. Now we've got levels that need to be retest, retested. So looking at our fresh resistance, we sit, it would sit over here at about 151.5. Okay, so that's about a hundred, or let's call it 90 pips off of the current level. We then also have a level below that at this region here at about 151, okay. So that gives us around 40 pips. But now with that being said, all right, we still have that intraday bearish momentum. And although we are still bullish on the daily, we don't trade based on the daily, all right? We trade with momentum on the lower timeframes and those critical ranges, okay? So with that being said, we cannot ignore the fact that we have this bearish momentum here. We need to wait for a break in structure in order to start looking for possible buys, okay? It's as simple as that. So looking at the, the current levels, all right, we could start looking for downside potential with a break of the support region. You can see how nicely price tapped into that region. So essentially, if price does happen to break the low, we are trading this range over here, all right? That is the range we will be trading, that critical range. So we are looking at this next critical at around 149.5. First significant level of concern being 150. So you're then left, left with a first target of around what, 30, 40 pips, right? So with that being said, if we get the break of the low, if we move to the hourly quickly, you'll see that we can start looking at possible sells, okay? However, looking at the hourly now, this structure looks a lot better, okay? In terms of looking for potential upside, so if we are going to start looking for potential upside, we'd like to see a break of this region over here, all right? And with that being said, we got a first target of this region over here. So simple structure. And why? Because remember, we need that break in lower time frame structure before we can start looking to trade against this bearish push that we had on Friday. Now we break this resistance region over here and we will then break that bearish, that lower time frame bearish structure. Okay. And that then obviously ties in with the reaction at the critical support on the higher time frame, where we can then start seeing a that that slight correction and that retest of this resistance region over here. So then moving down to the 30 minute, we'll be able to see once again that that is significant. That's a significant level over there. All right. Now, obviously, looking to short based on the hourly, you're not looking to short the retest of this region. And the reason being is because we are trading and we have reacted at this critical support, that daily support zone. 
And we're not trying to sell into that. The only time we're going to start, start selling is once price manages, once price breaks the low that was created on Friday. But for now, with that reaction and the fact that the daily time frame doesn't have a top or the, the current daily candle doesn't have a top side to it, we are looking at possible buys short term. So that is, that's, that's GJ, right? Um, pretty straightforward.